Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another video. So last week I posted a playthrough for Incubus Clean and in this one I just wanted to take you through the pedals that I'm using so that by the end of this video you know exactly what pedals are used in the song and the settings that they're on so you can get these sounds at home too. Now I'm also going to show you alternatives to these pedals so if you don't have say a flanger I'll show you something else that you can use instead. Now going through the intro of this song is actually using a flanger. So for that I'm using the TC Electronic Vortex. Now there's actually two settings that I'm using here. The very start of the intro is set at, the speed is at 8.30, the depth is at 11 o'clock, the feedback is at 10 o'clock, the delay time is at 10 o'clock, and there's a little toggle switch on here and it's set right at the top to the flanger setting. And this is what that sounds like. So this is with a light distortion, and we're playing this. So it's quite a nice throaty sort of sound. Then when the distortion is kicked on, I've actually tweaked the pedal so it really gnarls up the sound a little bit more. So with that, I'm just gonna tweak the pedal now. With the distortion on. Now if you don't have a flanger, I would use a phaser instead. So for the intro part, if we have the phase 90 on, now the only thing is when you kick on the distortion, you're not really going to get that kind of gnarled up effect that you're only really going to get with the flanger because you can really play with the feedback and you can play all the regeneration you can play with the delay time and that's what give you gives you that kind of broken sound which you're not really going to get with a phaser if you've got ph2 So quite a nice throaty kind of sound, similar-ish to how I had the flanger. Now again with the distortion. So that probably gets a better sound than the Phase 90 does, but they are some quick alternatives if you don't have a flanger. Chances are if you're a mic fan, you're going to have the Phase 90 or the PH2. So I would probably go with the PH2 for that. Moving on from there, we have another PH2 part, and for the sort of last part of that intro, we're using the PH2 but set on mode two. And with that, you are playing. Without you having a PH2, um, there's not really another pedal that does this kind of thing. Um, the closest would be a PH3, which I believe if you have that on the 12 stage setting, I can't really give you any other alternatives than that, but I know the PH3 is, is still being made, whereas the PH2 is obviously discontinued, so you, you have more chance getting a PH3. Now moving on from there, we have the verse part, which is utilizing a rotary effect. Now Mike is famous for using the Hughes & Kettner. That is quite an expensive pedal. I also have quite an expensive pedal, uh, which is the Strymon Lex. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> I will just let you know those settings and then I'll give you some alternatives to that. So I've got that set on. So it's utilizing the fast rotor speed and the fast rotor speed knob is just over 12 o'clock. The mic distance is just over three o'clock. The horn level is at 12.30 and the preamp drive is at nine o'clock. So I'm not driving the preamp too hard and I've got sort of a, a lightish crunch going on when I'm using it so I don't want too much preamp drive in it either. Now some alternatives to the Strymon Lex or a rotary type pedal, I used to use the TC Electronic Vibroclone. I still have that pedal, it's in a cupboard somewhere and that was a really good, quite cheap pedal to get a nice rotary sound. So if you have that pedal, definitely use that. I would set that probably at one or two o'clock-ish maybe and have the preamp drive fairly low on that as well. Other things you can do, if you do happen to have a flanger, I'm just gonna set that up to give you a similar sort of rotary type effect. Here's the TC Vortex as kind of emulating a rotary. So 
so not bad. Let's turn the Strymon on for context. Maybe I've got that set a little bit faster, so let's just tweak that. So there are subtle differences there, but if you're, you know, just jamming along at this at home, or even playing it live, you know, when you're in a full band mix situation, I don't think anyone's really going to notice that. I think that's pretty cool. The only problem you'd come up with here is that obviously you need the flanger for the intro and you'd be using a flanger for the verse as well. So you might come a bit stuck there. But if you have a PH2, I would use that for the intro and then use the flanger for the verse part. If you have a phase 90, I think that's pretty passable as well. You know, in isolation, it sounds pretty good. If you're playing along to the actual track, no, it's not gonna sound exactly the same, but I think live you'd get away with that as well, depending on how pedantic you want to be about it, how close you want to get the sound. Again, you could do the same thing with the PH2. Going up. And here's the Strymon. So that's pretty cool as well. So the last alternative might also be a PH3 as well. You could try the same thing. I believe to get more of the, the mode one kind of PH2 sound, which is what I was just using there, it's on the eight stage setting. I think. So again, you could try that with a very high rate and see how you get on with that. Now moving on from there, the kind of last part to this puzzle is the bridge. Now on the bridge, I'm using my Digitech Whammy. I've got that set an octave below and here's how that sounds with just some light distortion. So you've got... Etc. Etc. The limitation of the whammy is that it's just an octave below. Mike uses the OC2. Now that's quite an old pedal now, but that has two octaves on it, so you can set one low and one slightly higher, which I believe is how he sets them, and you'll get a different characteristic to the sound. For me, it's quite bass heavy. I don't have that second octave to kind of break through a little bit. But alternatives to that, obviously the OC2, if you want exactly mic sound. Now those can be quite expensive secondhand because they're not made anymore, but obviously there's a new version of that, which is the OC3, which you can probably pick up a lot easier. Don't know how expensive those pedals are. But I also found in the same range that the TC uh, Vibroclone is, there's actually one called the TC Electronic Nether. Now that is a dual octave as well, and I found it for like 38 pounds in the UK. That's an incredibly cheap pedal that may get you in the region of those sounds. Now, obviously I've never tried one of those pedals. I haven't heard one of them. You'd have to do your own research there, but there are various other pedals out there that will do those octave sounds. And again, you don't have to be spending a fortune. All of the pedals that I've been talking about are in the description down below and they are affiliate links there. So if you purchase anything, I will get a small commission for that. If you want the tabs for clean, they are available on my Patreon page. If this video has helped you, hit the like button. That really helps my channel. And otherwise, I will see you next time.